So you wanna know who I really am and where I've been and what I'm going to do. What is good, besties? It is your boy Joey Sings, and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. If you guys are new here, what is good, honey? How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, you guys. Listen. Evan MC Gaming is back at it again with what I already know that is about to be another iconic video, y'all. He is talking about the egg. Now, the egg is something that has been slung around in my comments for a long time. Y'all said, Joey Scenes, get into the egg. Joey Scenes, oh my God, an egg. And I was like, what about an egg? The only egg I know is boiled, scrambled. You know, you can get them over easy, sunny side up, over hard. That's the only egg that I know, okay? Other than some eggs, you know, to make a baby and stuff like that, you know. Okay, this is off topic. <laughs> Joy, you know a lot about eggs. I forgot about eggs, spurt. Okay, baby, honey, listen, that joke was so lame. But y'all, I'm just super duper excited to get into it, y'all. So yes, y'all have been telling me about the egg lore for some time now. And all I know is that every MC gaming partner put his little touch, his little spin on it, honey. And we finna be in the um whole mood there to get into it. So I'm ready to shut it on up, for real. I'ma shut up right now, y'all. But not right now. After y'all get this video a big ol' thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit that bell, honey. So you know when I upload brand new videos like that, then I'ma shut up for a little bit. And I'm gonna get into the video when we get into the video. So here we go, honey. All right, y'all. I got the video for a dog. And I'm excited to press play. Here we go. December 6th, 2020. A large obsidian wall surrounds the entirety of Lamanberg. Oh, Lamanberg. Just two days have passed since Tubbo had exiled Tommy from the nation. Oh. A day caught in the middle of peace and war. That was a sad but day. what was a day in the heart of one story would be the beginning of another. As deep in the shadows, a new threat to the server had just started to grow. Oh, Lord. See, I knew it was gonna give me movie theater realness. First, come on, movie theater intro. Come on, this, I'm telling y'all, I'm here like I'm watching, what it's called? Y'all have seen Adam's Family when it come on, it's like all creepy and suspenseful. That's the vibe I'm getting, but you know what, Emma, Emma, Emma. I can't even say his name right now because he always leave me tongue tied and just shook it. Do your damn thing, friend, because we like a second into the video and I'm already shook it. Okay. Bat stood in awe at what light. Okay, we've been hatched. He'd never seen anything like it before. A deep red encased the entirety of the strange object. Whatever it was, it made him feel different. He thought about destroying the weird-looking plant, but immediately got a rush of fear at the thought of doing so. Confused and scared of his new discovery, Bad fled the room hoping to find someone else to show the mysterious object. As he returned to his and Skeppy's mansion, he found his friend and fellow member of the Badlands, Sam, who was beginning work on a prison nearby with Dream. Quickly, Bad explained the situation and led the two to the strange red egg. Do you see that thing in the corner? What do you think it is? I have no idea, but I do not like it. it just looks <laughs> I do not like, like it. It's like dark I red. I know, and... but there's something about it. It's just like... It's almost like pretty yeah, though. It is pretty. Like I was getting ready to mine like a chunk, and then, oh my goodness, again, that, that vibe coming off of it. What do you think it is? I don't know, should we break it? No, don't break it. I don't want it broken. I like it. Oh. It's like a very, very dark vibe, though. Like, like a very ominous, like, like very suspense. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> very mind controlling. <laughs> You're telling me you didn't build this? No, I found it. <laughs> and it's mine now. You know what? Actually, when I originally found it, this was not here. These little tendril thingies. Is this expanding? Yeah. That's kind of weird. It's that mine. makes me a little uncomfortable. What? What's uncomfortable about it? This isn't supposed to happen in the game. I mean, like, I've never seen this thing before. Get, get out. If you don't like it, well, I want you looking well, at you it. You might as well leave. Yeah, yeah I guess we'll Because that is crazy. As the three left the room and made their way down Prime Path, Sam noticed something growing on the side of the socializing club. A deep red <gasps> vine gripped the side of the building. Bad jumped with joy at the sight of the vine while Sam and Dream questioned how it got there in the first place. 
See At here. Quest, they decided to leave the vine alone and continued down the path. As they reached Bad's mansion, another red vine sprouted from the pond outside. This was not a coincidence. Oh, uh -uh. Just minutes ago, the group stood in that very spot and no vines covered the wall. But suddenly, out of absolutely nowhere, they appeared. And Bad would not let anyone close to them. Having had enough of the new discovery and Bad's strange behavior, Dream and Sam decided to continue work on the prison. But Bad couldn't seem to shake his new friend. Slowly, the vines crept across the path outside the mansion and onto the other walls. New growth was discovered on Tommy's tower and throughout the rest of the day, Bad brought more and more people to see the mysterious egg. Most felt very uneasy in its presence, some even suggesting they tear it down. But others were drawn to it unable to avert their gaze from its majestic red figure. Oh, damn! In the following days, new vines appeared and spread across the server. Nowhere was safe from the reach of the egg. Bad and Ant Frost, seeking to please the egg, planted seeds all around the server, hoping to spread its influence as quickly as possible. Before long, Bad and Ant had gotten Captain Puffy on their side, and together, the three vowed to protect the oh, egg and continue no. to plant new vines around the SMP. However, nearly everyone else grew to dislike the red vines, which continued to spread like weeds across everyone's land. And on December 9th, Sapnap and Sam had had enough of the egg's relentless spread and decided to attack it. After making their way down Prime Path past the overgrowth of red vines, Sam and Sapnap entered the egg room. This time, the vines covered nearly a third of the room, and standing Holy at the center of it crap. all was Bad, who seemed to be talking to the egg. Sam and Sapnap made their way closer, stating that the egg had done enough and it was time for it to be destroyed. But Bad could never let them Oh happen. lord. Before long, Sapnap drew his sword and began to attack, oh, driving no. Bad away from the egg just long enough for Sapnap to ignite TNT and... Sapnap had managed to crack it. Quickly. Sam and Sapnap fled the scene while Bad stared in shock at his beloved egg. Oh! Was too far. Later that day, Bad brought Puffy to the egg to show her what had happened. Since the explosion, the egg had healed, but it remained very angry at what Sapnap had done. And so, Bad and Puffy knew they had to do something to protect it. And together, the two encased the egg in an obsidian shell with the hopes of it being safe forever. Before we dive even deeper into the story of the egg, I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, Core. To say Core is a yes, game is a massive sponsor. Statement. Core is an ever-expanding universe of tens of thousands of games, all packaged into one free Ooh. platform. Personally, I've been playing Island Survival Alpha, which is an open-world survival game much like Minecraft, where you go from surviving a plane crash to hunting dinosaurs with a katana. Which I must say is pretty. Fun. First of all, that sounds I genuinely insane. Enjoy this game, and it only makes me appreciate Core's wide variety of games even more. If you played a new game every day, it would take you over 55 years to play all of them. And if you've ever wanted to make your own video game, Core provides simple tools and the Unreal Engine to bring your vision to life without writing a single line of code. Also, Core is partnered with Epic Games and that is launching early access exclusively in the Epic Games Store giving you access to exclusive cosmetics if you download Core with your Epic Games account. And if that still isn't enough, Core hosts countless events with cash prizes, including a game-making competition from now until July 18th with over $100,000 in prizes. Wow. In endless world, just a few clicks away. So check out the link in the description to download Core today. And now, back to the story. You better sell it to the kids! Skeppy and Bad were best friends. Since Skeppy joined, the two had always stayed by each other's side. Through wars, conflicts, and explosions, their friendship stood unbroken next to the unending chaos around them. That is so but something true. We changed love the day Bad found that egg. Skeppy found himself alone in the mansion built for two. And in the few times Bad did come by to Aww. see Skeppy, he only talked about the egg. How he was angry at Skeppy's wishes to break the vines at their house and how great of a friend it was. Skeppy felt bad beginning to slip away, 
all the adventures they had, all the memories they made slipping from Bad's mind in favor of his new Aww. best friend. That Skip breaks my heart. Felix. All he wanted was for Bad to be there, but in its presence, it seemed even that was too much to ask. And so, when he noticed Bad destroying the very vines that drove their friendship apart, he began to have hope once again. Bad, Puffy, and Amp realized that since they covered the egg with obsidian, the vines ceased to grow and their obsession with the egg had began to fade away. Ooh, that's smart. And as this okay. obsession faded, the three realized they didn't actually like the ugly vines and decided to destroy them. Skeppy suggested that they break the egg as well, but something inside the three still immediately opposed the idea. Instead, they all decided to visit the egg to try to understand what was happening. Skeppy had never actually seen the egg, so when he entered the room to a giant obsidian oval, he was a bit underwhelmed. Curious to see what this amazing egg was, Skeppy broke a single piece of obsidian to get a peek. Immediately, his friends froze where they stood. Oh no! Silent. Looking at Skeppy, Bad told him that he needed to leave, as just him being there was a risk to the egg's safety. Skeppy was shocked. Just moments ago, his friends were back, but now it seemed all progress had been lost. Bad, Ant, and Puffy had forgotten why they covered the egg in obsidian and destroyed the shell, keeping it in. Skeppy knew what he had to do. Hiding in a pocket in the vines, Skeppy convinced his friends that he was learning to love the egg. Excited about his efforts, the three decided it would be good for him to stay there for a while and left him alone. A few minutes later, Bad felt something off. Immediately, he led Puffy and Ant back to the egg to make sure nothing oh, had happened. Oh no! As they entered the room, the egg was once again covered in obsidian, and Skeppy was nowhere to be seen. Quickly, Bad realized that not only had Skeppy covered the egg once again, but trapped himself inside, alone with the very monster that consumed the rest of their minds. He knew they had to find a way to save Skeppy, but they also knew that destroying even a single block of obsidian would expose them all again. Bad reason that the egg was oh, poisoning damn. Their and before they destroyed any obsidian, they needed to figure out what it was. As they removed vines around the server, oh, Bad shit. theorized that the people who liked the egg the most were those who spent the most time in the room with it. They all worried for Skeppy even more, as every second he spent down there was another part of him lost to the egg. Oh the no! Fell. Skeppy sat alone, trapped with the very evil he seeked to destroy. The next morning, Bad logged on and rushed down to the egg. He planned to break just enough blocks for Skeppy to get out, immediately placing them back before being exposed again. And as he made his way to the room, he noticed that a few of the obsidian blocks surrounding the egg looked to be corroded. But there was no time to worry about that. He had to save Skeppy. Yes, so, save him! He got into position. Here we go, Skeppy. Are you ready? I'm going, Skeppy. I'm going. Oh! Hurry, Skeppy, come out, come out, come out, come out! Okay, okay, good. Oh my goodness, good. Wait, what? Skeppy, what? What happened to you? Hello. Skeppy, are, are you feeling okay? I feel amazing. Skeppy, you're red. I feel great. Are you sure? Hey, do you need some food? No. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you feel good, Skeppy, but why are you red? I spent my time with the egg. You were blue yesterday, Skeppy, don't you remember? I remember everything. Wait, 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 where are you going? I want to go in the egg. No, 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 you, no, 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 you don't need to go over here. Here, let, let's follow me, Skeppy, I'll take you somewhere else. Up to the surface, the sky, you like the sky, right? Sky? Yeah, the sky! You know, the sky? Come on. Maybe if we get you some fresh air, that'll help. Skeppy had changed. Bad's best friend, the Skeppy who stood by oh, his side. Oh, my heart time, is breaking. And in his place stood a shell of a person. Skeppy no longer cared about anyone or anything except the egg. He tried everything to go back inside. No matter what Bad said or did, Skeppy didn't care. He moved out of the mansion, the very place that stood as a symbol of their friendship. 
Thad mourned the loss of his friend. He no. He tried everything to turn him back to how he was before, but nothing seemed to work. Puffy suggested taking Destroy his that life, egg. but Thad refused. He could never hurt Skeppy. He would rather do anything. And not knowing what to do, he turned his efforts to the egg, the source of all their problems. Oh, Following geez. the egg's display of its true power, everyone agreed to keep the egg quarantined to prevent any future incidents while they studied it. First, all discovered blood vines across the server were cleared, except for one on Punza's tower. This way, they could make sure the obsidian still prevented the growth of the vines. Second, they needed to buy time as the layer of obsidian surrounding the egg began to dissolve. To fix this problem, Bat and Ant surrounded the egg with a second layer of obsidian to make sure there would not be any breaches. They also created a decontamination chamber at the entrance of the room as another precautionary measure. Finally, because of the egg's strange effect on Skeppy, Bat and Ant decided to run an experiment by trapping different colored wool with the egg to see what would happen. As the days passed, the studying continued. The vine on Punza's tower ceased to grow, meaning the obsidian was still working. Okay. The second layer of obsidian also began to dissolve. Oh the no. The experiment had some strange results. As the final test, Bat and Punz decided to tear down the obsidian shell while wearing protective gear to keep themselves safe from the egg's influence. Once the obsidian was gone, they noticed that the egg had grown much larger, having absorbed the first layer of obsidian completely. This was concerning, but they figured the decontamination chamber would keep the egg out while also preventing the vines from growing. A few days later, Bat and Puffy returned to see that the vines had completely taken over the room. Oh no! The vines reached down from the ceiling and flowers bloomed from the reddened ground. They started to like the look of the room, but then realizing they were being influenced immediately, left. Skeppy had gotten worse. His red color became more intense and his love for the egg radiated with every word. There was no turning him back. Ant explained that the only way to save Skeppy was to take one of his lives to break his connection with the egg. But Bad once again refused to let any. You gotta do what you gotta do, Bad. He stated he would rather sacrifice everyone on the server than kill Skeppy. Ant questioned if Bad was infected as well due to his irrational thoughts, but Bad showed no physical signs of an infection. Days passed and not much. Oh, Bad, kill him! Running. The egg continued to push back on being contained. Skeppy remained infected, and they still had no idea what the egg even was. And so. Clearly, it's a to hold a meeting on January 14th to discuss what to do about the egg. January 14th. The dust settled on a ruined Lamanberg. It had been barely a week since TNT rained from the skies above. Child, because dream today, blew it up. The fate of the egg would be decided. Oh. The four logged on, and one by one, they arrived at the table for the meeting. I think we all know why we're here, don't we? As I'm sure you guys are aware of, the egg is becoming a problem. So I have a proposal for you two. Why don't you join the Badlands? What, what does it offer us? Everything. The Badlands currently is made up of myself, Aunt Frost, Skeppy, and Awesome Dude. The reason why we created the Badlands faction was to protect ourselves from the chaos that was plaguing the Dream SMP. Look at where that's gotten us today, okay? I don't think it's gonna work with just us four. I think we need stronger people, but I don't think we should stop there. I think I have a long-term play. I think if we release the egg, let it wipe out all of this side of the Dream SMP, let it spread, let it wreak havoc across it. Well, we- Uh-uh, he is, he contagious. Day, right? We can secure our hold on our territory. He infected. Then come in, and once we've figured out a solution, clear the egg, clear the vines, get rid of it, and we can take over the entire Dream SMP. We can go from being just one territory to becoming an entire empire. I think you turned into a tyrant, Ben. So wrong. I don't want to take over the whole server. I want all of us to take over the whole server if we do this puffy if we do this just right we can come together form a a unified 
government. Uh uh, he done lost his marbles. Have equal say, a round table, as it will, where we all have equal say over how we go about things. None of this president's nonsense. You know what? I don't know if this is the egg talking or myself, but I'm craving some chaos. This idea you have, it's speaking to me. I don't know, and I don't know if it's you or the egg or, or what's happening, but mm -hmm. I kind of want to do it. I think I, I want to help you guys out. Oh, Lord, the egg Happy. is getting all of them. I'll help you with the egg because I feel as if there's no other way, but I don't want to choose a faction as I feel like factions have got us to this point. This is what that I'm part, thinking. Captain Puffy. We combine your territory with the Badlands territory. Puffy, Temp Alliance with your territory? Sure. And we can create the formation of our empire. What will we call our empire? I think our unifying principle right now is the egg. Empire. Egg pyre! I like egg this! Pie. Not egg pie. The, the egg is taking over. The formation of the temporary but hopefully permanent egg pyre. Are you guys ready to go release the egg? The group made their way. Oh the no. Egg. No longer would they contain the chaos. The server would once again feel the wrath of the egg, and in the wake of its destruction, the egg pyre would rule everything. The decontamination chamber was destroyed, setting free the vines that engulfed the rest of the room. Bad Ant and Pun smiled as the plan began to move forward. They imagined the chaos that would unfold and were eager oh, to spread. Oh, Lord, it's going to be a whole war. Throughout the rest of the day, the members of the Egg Pyre planted seeds all across the server to help encourage even more growth. Slowly, they all began to leave the server for the night. But Bad remained. His plan had been received much better than he initially thought, and his disguise had worked even better. As Bad made his way back to the round table, he realized there was no point in hiding it anymore. I knew it! Propaganda coated the walls of every building. Vines spread like weeds as far as the eye could see. The chaos was beginning. And with the spreading of their message, the Egg Pyre seek to recruit more allies to help them remain in control. First, Bat and Ant discussed getting Eret on their side because of the power and influence he held as king. Next, they needed to convince Sam to join the Egg Pyre in their quest for chaos. But this was much easier said than done. Since day one, Sam had a bitter hatred for the Egg and would not take it well when he found out his equals in the Badlands went behind his back. And as they expected, exactly. Sam was furious at what Be they upset, intended to do, Sam. refusing to join their cause. He had just locked Dream away in prison to stop chaos and was not about to join some cult to spread more. But Bad and Ant had a plan to make him like the Egg. A few days later, Bad and Ant attempted to expose Tommy to the Egg with the hopes of getting him on their side. Tommy, seeking to investigate the Egg as a potential threat to the building of his hotel, asked Ant and Bad to lead the way. And as they approached the core, Tommy felt something strange. Tommy felt an uncontrollable urge to swear. Literally, that's it. The egg is saying that all three of us should start swearing. The egg just told me to start swearing and that you need to swear next. Tommy didn't seem to be affected by the egg. And in the eyes of the egg pyre, that made him the most dangerous person to their cause. Bad and Ant quickly decided that they needed to get rid of Tommy as he was unable to be controlled no! by the egg. Later that day, the egg pyre gathered for another meeting. This time to convince Sam permanently. Already, have you guys seen what's happened, okay? Dream is in jail. The server is devolving into chaos. Factions forming everywhere you look. This is a problem. We need a uniting force. Bad is a little mischievous. Everybody can agree is, is a bad thing to bring everybody together. People will think the egg is bad. But the egg is ultimately good. We all know that. Anyone who spent enough time with it comes to realize oh, the egg is good. The egg is so bad. Bad. The egg is bad. The egg needs the Jesus. The ultimate plan, okay? One by one, we bring people to the egg. Get them to come to our side. Get them to see things our way. Let the egg spread its influence. Let the vines cover the SMP. When the vines of official uh uh y'all gotta say bad out. Y'all gotta put bad down. Bad is the problem. That is when we come out. 
that is when we resolve the problem, we come in, boom, you're heroes. And that's the point. It's just we're all going to do it under the guidance and wisdom of the A. You understand? No. Oh, I don't understand. <sighs> Sam, I'm trying to get through. I, I, I really am. The egg. The egg is awful. I don't care I, what you say. I know. This I'm is not a good thing. The egg pyre is not a good thing. This was a bad idea from the beginning. It's still a bad idea now. Okay, so let me let me. Oh, they finna kill Sam. You're in no circumstances willing to back down on this issue. No, no, we should we should not be doing this. We should be doing the opposite of this, actually. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. That's fine. Right. Oh no. That's all fine. right. What? <sighs> okay. Goodbye, buddy. What? Bad. Kill Puffy. Out. Oh my God. What? Puffy ran, shocked at what she had just witnessed, and scared for her friend that now stood deep underground in the heart of the egg. Sam was trapped. Layers of obsidian stood between him and freedom. With every breath he took, the egg seeped deeper and deeper into his mind. It was enough to break oh, even the no. strongest of wills. Sam stood at the mercy of the egg for the rest of the night, alone with its raw and ruthless power. The next morning, Puffy noticed Tommy on her way to break Sam out and informed him of what had happened. Quickly, the two made their way to the egg and Puffy broke a hole in the obsidian for Sam to escape through. Sam was destroyed. He was disoriented oh, and traumatized no. from the torture the egg had caused him. He was starved, exhausted, and just wanted to go home. Oh no. Tommy and Puffy, just wanting their friend to be okay, took him home so he could rest and recover from what happened that night. When Puffy got back, she thought about everything. She couldn't believe her friends would do such a thing. Hmm. Bad and Ant had changed beyond recognition. Ant's eyes now as red as the egg itself. She knew that if someone didn't stand up to the egg pyre, they would overrun the entire server. And the friends she once knew would be gone forever. Quickly, a plan began to form in her head, a resistance to the unrelenting tyranny of the egg pyre. Because she used to be one of them, she knew their true intentions and the ins and outs of their plan. Making true, her she definitely knew. Of the resistance. She just needed more people. Knowing of the Egg Pyre's plan, Puffy also knew exactly who Bad and Ant planned to recruit next. And so, when she caught wind that Bad was bringing Technoblade to the Egg, she knew this was the perfect opportunity to get him on her side. Puffy watched from the shadows as Bad and Techno made their way towards the Egg. She waited patiently, carefully following their every word until Bad began to take things too far and she had to step in. Puffy explained Bad's true intentions, the Egg Pyre, their plans of unopposed control, everything. And Techno, knowing he could never side with an Empire, sought to tear it down alongside the Resistance. Rambu also decided to join after almost getting trapped with the Egg at the hands of Bad. This was a good start, but Puffy knew it would take more than three people to take down the Egg Pyre. But lucky for them, she had a few people in mind. Having recovered from his stay with the egg and fearing its effect on the security of the prison, Sam was not exactly a fan of the egg pyre. And so, when Puffy informed him of what she was planning, he was more than happy to join the cause. Mm -hmm. In a land far away, rolling hills of sand painted the landscape as the sun beaded down on the dry ground. A player stared. For months, his land lied untouched in an oasis in the heart of the sea of sand. But that day... Red vines spread like a disease across his creation. Foolish was confused. He'd never seen anything like it. He removed the vines, but a few days later, they returned. He began to hear stories of an egg buried deep oh, underneath damn. the rest of the server. Stories of a mysterious power that controlled some and drove others to hatred. But whatever it was, he knew it needed to be stopped. That part foolish. And so, when opportunity knocked at his door, he answered. April 12th, a large explosion oh, occurred across the server. Shit. Quackity flees the egg room as fast as he can. He prayed that his plan had worked. He prayed that the TNT was enough. My heart just he gave out. tired of this egg, its influence spreading like a weed across the server and no one there to stop it. He knew that if no one else was going to do something, he would. He didn't have time to see the damage before his escape, as he was sure bad and puns were right on his trail. 
but he managed to get away. And even though the egg withstood the blast of TNT, his efforts caught the eyes of the resistance. Slowly but surely, the resistance was growing. Yes. They just needed an opportunity to strike, an opportunity to take down the egg pyre for good. March 1st. Word spreads across the server that Tommy is dead, murdered in prison at the hands of Dream. That was so sad. Everyone was <laughs> devastated. Tommy, despite the chaos, was a friend to all. And it seemed a part of everyone died that day too. Everyone except the Egg Pyre. Tommy's death was exactly what they needed. Tommy was immune to the influence of the Egg, meaning he could not be controlled, making him the biggest threat to their plan. But now that he was finally gone, their plan could move into its final stages. First, Bat and Ant managed to trap a new player, Hannah, in the obsidian cage above the Egg. They hoped that in her time, Not Hannah Rose. Egg, she would learn to love it. And once she did, they knew exactly how she could help. Following the massive explosion set off by Quackity, the room was in shambles, but the egg still stood. Bat and Puns made sure everything was okay and blocked off the room to prevent any threats from entering while the egg was healing. This also allowed for concealment while they planned their final move. I'm trying to figure out where the hell this egg came from. The true beginning of the reign of the egg pyre, the Red Banquet. In order for their true plan to work, they needed a lot of people as close to the egg as possible. And because their reputation among the rest of the server was not that great, they knew that before they hosted an event as elaborate as the banquet, they needed to convince people this wasn't just another scheme. And so, it was decided. The Red Banquet would be staged as an apology. An apology for the harm the egg pirate caused and a vow of their goodwill to the rest oh, of the server. Oh, they smart. But to truly sell the idea, drastic action needed to be taken. And Bad had the perfect plan. Over the next few days, the Egg Pyre removed every single vine that had grown across the server. Every trace of their mission to spread the egg gone overnight. Invitations made their way to the farthest corners of the SMP. People finally started to believe they had changed. And the removal of the vines made people just comfortable enough to attend the banquet. Oh, they finna set y'all up for the OP though. Now completely cleared path and into the banquet hall, he went through the plan one last time in his head. But then he noticed something out of the corner of his eye. His old friend, driven away those months ago by the very thing he worshipped. The only thing Bat still cared about more than the egg, Skeppy. But he wasn't Skeppy anymore. What? What? What is that? Skeppy, what are you doing? Skeppy, what? why are you over here? I want to be next to the egg. You can excuse yourself. I've given you enough time. What do you want? I care about you, Skeppy. And I mean, look, we, we both know there's something wrong with the egg and the egg's great and all. But you don't have to, you don't have to be buddied up with it. Then leave me alone. Oh my goodness. Let's go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to see the, the sunlight? You like sunlight? Nothing here is new to me. I've seen all of this a million times over. Nothing you say will convince me. Is there anything else I can do for you? He's, he's Skeppy. He is rude, rude. Statue I built of you, remember? What's it going to take for you to stop talking to me? I'll just go and do the preparations myself. Okay, don't come back. You're really getting what? on my nerves, Skeppy. What? Why do you keep coming back? Skeppy, don't back. I don't like what? your behavior lately. Has been my behavior. Give me absolutely no control. It's over not about any part power. Of you, and everything you say is irrelevant. Oh my goodness. It's not about power. It's not about control. I'm your friend, Skeppy. I mean, you can think that. Oh, what do you mean? Shit. You can think whatever you want in your silly little mind, okay? No, it doesn't no, matter to me. No, we're we're friends, right? Sure. Just leave me alone, Skeppy. I that just broke my heart. Oh my goodness! Y'all gotta get rid of this damn egg. The egg gotta go. Saute this egg. Scramble it. But get rid of this egg. Oh, I don't like it. Have done so much 
for you, for for our friendship, and now you're trying to tell me that we're not friends anymore? I'm not saying it, I'm proving it. You're proving it. I literally, hey, I, no, I've had you enough. You used your and attitude, me and you keep I've used and abused me you, and you continue your to attitude. do so. No, but tell me I am your friend. Forth. Yeah, tell me. My best friend. My best friend hits me. Do you know the sacrifices that I have made to sacrifice? hang out with you? And you'd you, rather, you'd you think rather you've rather stand any sort of contribution. No. You you think you've done anything? I you done. seriously think that? The past doesn't matter. It's only about the future and the present. And right now, I know what I want. I want to go to the egg. So I'm gonna go. No, you're not going to the egg. I, I don't want you to stand by that egg Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna let you, gonna you go to it. Are you gonna hit me? I just wanted us to hang out like we used to. Like I did all this for you and I don't, I just didn't want the egg to take that away. Do you hear how selfish that is? You were trying S to take away what S I enjoy and what I like selfish? for your own benefit. Did you, you did you actually how call selfish that selfish that is of you? You don't selfish. actually care about me. Stop are hitting you, me. You how many actually more times that are you selfish? Hit me? Take that back right now. They I apologize. They were all selfish, and they were They're... only for your own benefit. It's just a stupid it's egg. It's not Skippy. a stupid egg. And, no, Skippy, no. Dad stood in shock at what he did, destroyed by the tragedy he just caused. He remembered what Aunt said about killing Skeppy and prayed with everything he had that maybe. Just maybe his friend could come back. April 23rd, two days before the Red Banquet. The Resistance stands atop a cloud in the sky built by Foolish to discuss their plan of action. Oh Sam informs the group that he managed to recruit Hannah after finding her passed out in the obsidian chamber above the egg. The group was happy to oh, welcome Hannah. another member to their side and moved forward with their plan. The Egg Pyre had been very selective about who they sent invites to, making sure to leave out major threats such as Quackity, who nearly killed the Egg, Technoblade, who clearly had no intentions of siding with them and was very powerful, and Rambu, who was caught spying on the Egg with Tubbo a few days earlier. However, everyone who did get an invite decided it would be best to go to the banquet to get information and to seek an opportunity to attack. That being said, everyone was very wary of the Egg Pyre's intentions, as they knew there was a strong chance this banquet would end with blood. And so... As long as y'all going in there prepared, that y'all finna get got. Knowing that they would not be able to sneak armor and weapons into the celebration, as they were strictly prohibited, Sam suggested planting a supply chest in the center of the room in case things went downhill. The group agreed, and Puffy volunteered to hide the chest as she knew the room the best. Sam also informed the group that he had another plan he had been preparing. A plan that could destroy the egg for good. Yes! Finally, Quackity mentioned a secret contact he'd been talking to. A warrior, long dormant on the server, who was happy to join the fight if things got out of control. And with this, the group went their separate ways. Satisfied with their plans and confident that worst comes to worst, they would be ready for war. Mm, 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 mm. The sun cast a red shadow over the SMP as it climbed above the horizon. Deep underground, in the heart of a once innocent land, hung decorations fit for the greatest of kings. Red vines reached for the ground. Chandeliers brought light to the living walls, and at the center of it all, lied a table waiting to be set for the feast. The egg pyre stood in the ruins of their meeting room far above the egg, in silence. No words needed to be said. The plan had been trapped in their heads for weeks on end, and everyone knew what needed to be done. But where is Scabby? was Punk, who had always liked the egg, but after a bit of convincing, took a greater liking to their plan. But one seat lied empty, as their newest member was attending to her own part of the plan. The clock continued to tick until it was time. And as the first guests began to log on, everyone made their way to the banquet hall. Oh, look. See, there you go. That's that, ooh, that music. The final supper. Oh, they, they walk into their death, Lord. 
If they finna scramble this egg, salt say with a little salt, a little pepper, a little spinach, a little avocado, a little salt, <laughs> this egg should be out. And the music is so suspenseful. Come on, Emmy nomination for best editing. I really appreciate you all coming again. Uh, I think this is the perfect opportunity for us as as a server, as a community to come together and and honestly just to let bygones be bygones. Mm -hmm. To let Me any past issues, to set them aside so that we can we can grow and advance from this point forward. Because while there have been bumps along the way, in the spirit of you know, moving things forward. I would just like to say that I was very, very happy that we were able to gather everybody here. To that nod, he just gave Ant Frost like, it's a go. Uh-uh, I don't trust you, bad. Bad, this egg done got to you, okay? Scramble the egg. Oh, For what is, I'm sure, going to be Maybe Scampi gonna show up blue again and be like, stop! None of us are ever okay. going to forget. And yeah, thank you for coming, everybody. Oh. <laughs> and uh, uh, thank you. Prepare to die. What? Lava fell from the ceiling, blocking all escapes from the room everywhere except the egg. Months of planning led to this moment, the final sacrifice. Puffy and the rest of the resistance were furious. They trusted their friends one last time and they still I knew them. they was up to no they get going. They wouldn't come to this, but the egg pirate had to go. Puffy made her way to the center of the table to the hidden chest of supplies. Finally, the egg pirate would answer for their crimes. But then... Yes, what? Yes. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Were you looking Where? for this, perchance? There's no way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What? How? What? <laughs> I had to tell them. What? You told them, Hannah? What? Why? Hannah is a snake! Hannah heard everything. Every step of their plan, every precaution they planned to take, everything. Ever since her stay with the egg, she was consumed. She is a snake. Her. And bad knew that as a new player to the server, she was a spy. <laughs> Off with her head! In the Snitching. face of fear, they had unknowingly supplied the Egg Pyre with the very weapons that would cause their demise. But Sam still had one last plan. That is tragic that you told them about our plans for the armor. But something you should know, I had another plan because I didn't trust you. What do you mean? another plan well i think that we all can agree this has gone on long enough now i'm tired of all this fighting so i say we just blow the egg up what? we're good this time what? it's an amount of tnt that it cannot survive but so you I don't have try. any wait no 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 the suit what what <laughs> what? <laughs> what you really what thought that? You what? could defeat the egg with TNT? After Quackity tried that, we took proper preparations. Oh, so that we didn't shit. have to worry about TNT anymore. Now, uh, if you would all kindly please make your way over here, we can uh, begin the summary executions. What? The, the what? The, the what? Execution? No, 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 Come on. What? You see... We're Not the execution. And it's going to get it from each of you. See, in order for the egg to hatch, it needs energy. And it gets that energy by people dying near it. And that's the role that you guys are going to fill. Oh, hell one no. One. Uh, what did you say here? You're an absolute monster. A monster? You know what? I think, Eric, you would be a perfect person. To sacrifice first. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm, I really appreciate you guys following the directive and not bringing any weapons. That's very courteous of you. We trusted you, we trusted you! you.
Oh. It's her first mistake. <laughs> what do you, what, you think we were really going to just stop? Trying to spread the egg's influence over the server just because a couple people are mad at the vines? Like, come on. That's been the objective all along, is to hatch the egg. The egg wants power, and it's gonna get it. All right, stop. I have had enough. I am sick of this foul red stench. I am tired of this endless cycle of egg nonsense. I tried. We tried. To give this dreadful egg another chance. Yeah, I think Matt, we have... what are we so foolish instead? We'll save uh, the monarchy for later. Don't think we've forgotten about you. But we'll, we can start with foolish. Oh, you no. too bad, and this is your last chance with me. Your oh, very, God, you very last chance. I am done after this. What are you going to do? You're weak. You have nothing. Buffy, you were a part of the egg fire. You could have prevented... And look what you all turned into! I did what I needed to, to make sure that everyone else was protected. Because all you and Bad care about is the egg and yourself. You're selfish. Puffy, you could have stopped this if you had stayed with the egg fire, but this is your fault. What? No! 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 <laughs> One down. And a couple more people to go. Who should we do next? What do you think? Bad, <laughs> stop! Like what? Stop what, what you're doing right now! Stop! Stop it! Hey, 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 hey! Relax, relax, bad quackity. I am. I know calm. what you're doing here, but stop right now! Stop! Oh, right now. where did quackity come from? Done here, bad. This is this is impressive. I'm not gonna lie. This is quite impressive. Everything you've done here. You have to stop right now, bad. You have to stop. Stop! This whole egg thing is just getting out of control. You just killed a man. Is that what you wanted to do, bad? Is that <laughs> was that your plan all along? To kill innocent people? This has gone completely out of control, and I'm not gonna have any more bad. Look, look what you've done. Just look what you've done. You've trapped all these people, all these innocent people, in what you've disguised as a party. I'm telling you, bad, you're a pawn to power. You're nobody, bad. You're working for something that, quite frankly, doesn't even care about you. I mean, look at the egg. Look at the oh, egg. Wow. Look at what it means. It doesn't mean anything. How about we just stop playing games, bad? How about that? I can't stop quackity, and you know why I can't stop. You're not like this. Yes, I am. So how about, I'm gonna tell you one more time. You and all your buddies here, drop your weapons and leave and let all these people go. No, you drop your weapons and you prepare. If you wanted to stop us, you should have brought an army with you. Guess what, bad? I did. In fact, I brought the next best thing. I brought my biggest enemy. All right, Quackity, where's this egg thing? <laughs> right here. Right here, Techno. Get back. Get back, Hannah. Come on. Let's go. Get back. Welcome him, bad. Welcome him, what? bad. Pur purple. Purple. Yeah, yeah, purple. Yes. purple, bad. Techno, you and Quackity are, are enemies. Why? Oh, shit. Listen, bad. I, I didn't want to work with this guy either, but this egg this egg it's going too far it's warping people's minds it's controlling them it has no plans on stopping and this egg it's the epitome of everything i stand against as an anarchist and if i don't stop it now it'll be the end of the world so yeah i'm working with quackity we still outnumber you it's four against three puffy saw an opportunity a moment of weakness the very thing she'd waited for since the start of the resistance and having had enough of the friends she thought she had she took it Amphrost, you're dead Wait, what? 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 Puffy, stop! Where did Puffy get away? You need to take it like kind of take this, Ampharos! Oh, oh, my God! God. Let's yes! Go. Let's go! Get up! Yes! It's not it's gonna end here, Quackity! You, Bat, I've always told you, I've told you for so long, this stupid egg thing is just bringing trouble, nothing but trouble, Bat. Let's go! Oh, retreat, Let's guys! Go. Retreat! As the egg pyre retreated into the labyrinth of tunnels surrounding the room, the people stood frozen, shocked at the events they had just witnessed, the murder of their friend. Oh, the no. The stood atop the egg. No matter what happened, the egg pyre was reduced to nothing, and their crown jewel now lied in the hands of the resistance. Quackity led the people to the surface, freeing them from the evil grasp of the egg. Over the next month, the server would attempt to recover from that day. Sam and Quackity oh. sealed off the egg, quarantining it once again. 
Bat and Ant felt a weight lifting from their shoulders as their color returned to normal and their love for the egg diminished. The resistance went their separate ways, vowing to return the day the egg was released. Well, what about again. Scampy? And the egg remained locked away. A mere memory of a time, a dark time the server never wished to see again. And with peace finally ruling over the yes, land, but peace, the hey. egg, it seemed, would have to hatch another day. Wow. For now. I love this. I love how he gives credit. That is incredible. Yes, you better be the editor, the writer, the producer, the narrator on the soundtrack with Miss Kaya. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yes, y'all, this was so good. Like all of his other videos, obsessed. Period. All right, you guys, there you have it. Meet right in the Evans MC's game. Like it ain't not talk because my mind is blown, you guys. This video was amazing. There you have it, me right into another amazing video by Evan MC Gaming. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to notify when I upload brand new videos like this. You guys, listen, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the video down below. I already know that it was iconic and I loved it. Y'all loved it too. Period, you guys. Don't forget to check out all my social media. You can find the description box below. Come give your boy a follow. Don't forget the most importantly, love yourself, love someone else. I will see you guys next time.